This is a school play with a difference. Scenes of civil war, violence and child soldiers are play-acting for these students, but real life for their parents and teachers, because this is a school in a refugee camp. The fact that these children are in school at all is a miracle of resourcefulness. Their teachers and families are displaced, with little money coming in, but that hasn't dented their ambition for the children. Everyone here pitches in, but it all started with one man. My name is Carlos Hayes. I live on a refugee camp in Budumburam. I came here as a result of the Liberian Civil War. I don't have any idea of what happened to my family. But during the war, we all went different directions. And then I came to Ghana in the six, and then I left my family behind in Liberia. Karis is one of over 40,000 refugees, mostly Liberian, who live in this camp in Ghana, West Africa. Their children are growing up here. But if they don't have money for school fees, uniforms and supplies, those children go without an education. Actually, my vision was never to start a school. But I walked around the camp, and I saw that there were many kids who were to be in school were out of school. It was something that really troubled my heart. I therefore began to think about it, but I didn't know where to start from. As his first step, Karras took up the offer of some space in the local church and started a free primary school there. The teachers were all volunteers from the camp. He named it the Carolyn A. Miller School, after the teacher who inspired him in Liberia. Later, he showed the school to Corrie Stern, an American who was visiting the camp. She was moved by the project and got her friends back home involved. This group raised $5,000 each to fund a brand new school, and they all came to Ghana to help build it. The result, just finished, is the new Carolyn A. Miller Elementary School, where everything is free, even uniforms and notebooks, all housed in a brand new building. Well, this is our new school. We just moved in. And now this is a cold year, all between here. And then uh, this is one of our classes. This is one of the classes here. I'm okay, and you? We are also fine, thank you. Please have your seat. If you can see in the class, we have fan, we have the light, but it's unfortunate that we don't have electricity right now. We are praying and hoping that that will be very soon. We are already pulling for it, we are in the process, but you know it takes time. Some 400 children attend classes here. Kara struggled to make the dream come true, but the really hard work begins now. The Americans' funding is over. To keep the school free, he needs to find money for running costs and teachers' salaries. Je coûte le, le Renting out the buildings for evening classes and support from charities helps, but it's a struggle. And hardly anything in this camp is free. We have a WC here, we don't know how we're going to use it. Buying water should have cost us so much money. So we got an idea of having a borehole here. If the problems here are different from British schools, so are the solutions. As you can see the chai, this is where we pump the water from, here. As we use the main power energy like this, the water leaves from under there and goes up in the polythene and then come back into the pipe to be used for the spirit toilet. In fact, although it's free, the school has enviable facilities. It's the only one in the camp with flush toilets and when electricity arrives, fans. We got some donations on computer, but they are not arrived yet. If you can see in the Western world, every case they're using computer. Only in Africa here, 
we don't have access to this thing. But we really want to try to know, I mean, to be able to have this thing here for the kids to learn so that they can be able to compete with anyone in the world. In the opening of the place, you see that mothers are what? on the highway. Eh? They are going to nowhere because the war just what? took place. And you see that they are what? They are displaced. Action. I teach drama in this school and I'm responsible for the stage performances. It's a play about kids. During the war, they were given drugs and they were forced into the army. They never knew what they were doing. And they did a lot of bad things. You know, they amputated people's hands, beheaded people. So the child saw in Liberia, we call them the SPU, the small boy unit. I wrote it because some of them don't know what happened you know, during the war. So there's a reflection about the past. Action! Probably it's a good thing to know the past, but probably it's not a good thing to practice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your manners will write for you. In a nursery class, you have bigger ones that will learn how to write now. So you draw the lines and write A to D. And you tell them, look, look at this thing, A, they are it down. And you follow the first footstep. And that you tell them, that's what they will know, to learn how to write. You will write this A, 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 or T with this line. You write B, 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 B. When you go home, you do it tomorrow. Sometimes very difficult. They are very high headed, they are playful. And cakes cannot be made like to be quiet totally. They are like birds. Each time in the tree talk, yeah, 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 yeah. All day long. Some of them pitch their friends, some of them knock their friends. And you can't control that totally just for five minutes to pick up. So it's very horrible sometimes. But you have to be patient in doing that. You have to be patient. Teachers here are paid around £15 a month, but even this can be hard to find. Right now, salary payments are two months in arrears. But it's very horrible. They even have paid on the radio camp. How you get water to drain and as a lady, I need a provision, I need this, I need that. But I still got a lot of the children, and we all made an effort for the children to come to school, so we live in that. Just because you have a new building doesn't mean you have good teaching. So Karis has brought in a very experienced educator as principal to raise the standard of the school. He started a month ago. The new principal here is great. I have actually been praying for someone who will come to help me because the whole school has been resting on my hair. Every documentation of this school, everything concerning the school has been done by me alone. I was asked to take the full responsibility of this school, to see how I can monitor the schools, observe teachers, or see everything. What I observe is that so if you are not somebody who is patient and exercise and train kindergarten or nursery teacher, definitely you will lose control. Oh, 
to you whenever somebody hit against you, refer to me and I will handle the case and then you fight it. Hmm? I want to have a classroom management workshop, mini workshop for classroom management for the teacher. Because a few days I've been here, I observed that some have classroom management problem. They do not have the techniques, the technical know-how in managing the class. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. Well, let's go, let's go. No more, no more. Hello? You can see me? You sure? Yes! We'll count down one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm a physical education instructor, okay? And we do a lot of physical exercise. They don't do all, okay, because of the sun. But a lot of them will do. We do sprinting, track and field, sag race, and the rest. One, two, three. We don't have one football. No jersey, nothing of the kind. Two, three, four. A salary issue is a problem for us. Yeah. And sometimes we don't take personal two, three months. All the way, all the way down, small, small. We just bear in it. Teacher come to school hungry. Yeah, teacher come to school hungry. Teacher, well, we cannot give up. We just have to continue. As I stand here now, I'm going to look for food and eat. One, two, one, two. So because of hungry, I cannot stay back and keep what I learn. I have to, what I learn, give it to them. So tomorrow, they will have to build a bill. Because as you see my age now, I'm gone. They are coming up. See that? Yes. <laughs> up. Let's go ahead and stay right there now. Stay like that. You ready? Want to go action. It's the drama class's final rehearsal today, but the serious message of the play hasn't got through to all the cast members. All right, cut. Eunice Brown, no smile on your face. You are weeping. I make them understand that, you know, they are playing a character of somebody, some people that did in the past. Reset, want to go action. <laughs> Passion. Yeah, yeah, they have the passion. You have spoken the right thing. They are our children. Let us forgive them no. and bring peace and reconciliation no. to this country. All right, come on. Yes, your line is very cool. Devo, you have spoken the right thing. And when you put yourself in that character with her. The yeah, acting is ready. But we can't say that for now until they appear on stage. What's next after give, please? Yes. <coughs> past participle. Yeah, did, should we use the past participle? Yeah, Mabutu? So why do you know we have to use the past participle? Because of have. Because of have. We have some expatra who have come from all the way Europe, Australia, to be a help to this yeah, program. He's nearly finished. So we try to encourage people oh, to come to our school with new ideas that will help our kids to be able to catch up with the rest of the world. I'm teaching grades four, five and six. I see them for an hour each each day. So I'm doing three hours a day teaching. There are many problems in the classrooms, environmental issues which you can't do anything about. For example, there's no electricity yet, although we have fans on the ceilings, but um, of course they're not going around, so it's hot. And there's often three children to a desk. Some of the children are huge as well. Their knees under the desks, all pushing and shoving. So you've got that to deal with. They're trying very hard, but it's often impossible for children to be able to listen and to write. Hey, can you tell me what the past tense of hold is, please? You said enough, Mabutu. Somebody else, please. Please, Anna. Okay, go on. Hold. The past tense of hold. Hold. Hard. Not hold. Not hold. Held. It's not holded. It's not helded. I gave the children an assignment entitled My Life as a Refugee Child. I read some really, really moving pieces of writing. My name is Quita Cry. I am 10 years of age. I am in the fourth grade class. I am a 
good girl. I live with my aunt and my uncle. My aunt's name is Auntie Ophelia. Okay, this is the kitchen. And this is my mother, Auntie Ophelia. This is where I, who I live with. No, don't laugh. And this is my room, our room, all the children. This is where we sleep, all the children. Yes, and this is all my brothers and sisters I have. This is where our food are. But now, our food is finished. We can put rice. If my mother get money, she credit money, she put rice here. She buy chicken soup, she buy pepper, and some other things she put it here. This is my church clothes, and I love it. My auntie also is for us. Yes. Okay. This is this is my mother picture, but she's dead by now. You going to mommy? I lost some play with that piece. And tell us that we shouldn't call her aunt. She is the mother of us now, so we should call her mom. If we'll be asking her where is our mom, she can be crying, so she said we should leave everything and call her mom. So if we're calling her mom, we can feel happy. I pray to God that God may bless my future and become good. My life as a refugee child. Goodbye. The new principal has a strategic plan, and today's workshop is the first step. He can't get the teachers their back pay, but he can at least give them training in managing the students. Let me, if, let me say, if you, can, if you can't control the clan, then you have serious problems. You must have control over your class. The very first day that you enter class, that's the day you set up some routine. As a professional teacher, you are teaching in a class and you observe that this class is so noisy. Or oh, what you think would be some of the measures to put or to curtail such a noise? As a classroom teacher, when you are going to the class to, to, to teach, make sure you are well prepared. Have your lesson plan. If you find the children causing noise in the class, it means that the teacher who is teaching that class it's not working in line with his plan. The, plan the parents or relatives of students may not pay fees, but they are expected to get involved with the school. So the principal has invited the PTA to the workshop. Parents' role. Parents are to ensure the school environment is conducive to their, work, their children's education. I want to ask the teacher, um, are the children coming to school not neat? So they come with their hair funny? So when they come with their nails dirty, yeah. so when they come with their, their, their uniform, okay. chest torn up. So we are living in a refugee camp, and they come to school dirty. So when you come to school and you're not flat, we send you home. So your parents can make sure that you are neat before you come to school. Thank you. There are some other problems. you find this student two or three days absent from class. Mm -hmm. What do you think is a teacher responsibility, the instructor responsibility, to do. Let's just say, let's say for example, suppose you have a female student, especially for refugees, yeah. where the parent cannot afford the silo, then the child go in the market and sell. The teachers have much to do to educate the parents so that they will be able to send the children to school regularly. Just at the end of the workshop comes the subject that won't go away. The next thing we said that the teachers are to be what? Well paid and on time. If you are, well, if you want to, uh, to have a good school, you got to pay your what? This is a problem that inevitably lands on Karis's head. Then we said, when I see the faces of these people, uh, I feel so much somehow afraid to even go around because I feel that I'm obligated to them and now I cannot meet my obligation. So therefore, I'm under pressure actually. After school, some parents pick up where the teachers left off. To remember what you're reading. Don't just read because you want to read. Read with understanding. Some of them here are my kids and their friends, my neighbor's children. I help them with their homeworks, with their lesson. 
because my priority here is for children to learn. I used to sell charcoal mm. to send them to school. Mm. But as time went by, I can't get the money again. So we we're happy when the free school came. The new principal, I see that he will bring development. It looks like he has more experience in this job. Because every time my children come from school, they say, oh, mommy, you have to braid our hair. Mommy, we have to wash our uniform. Oh, mommy, we have to study. You see, so I see that he's an impact in the school. It's showtime for the drama class. No students were harmed in the making of the play, but for their teacher, it was a close run thing. I grew up with my grandmother at the age of two. The first war, 1990, we suffered because we were kids at that time. I felt that if I could be walking along the street side, I could be one of those captured one day and put into the truck or to the pickup forcibly and then taken to the base for two or three weeks training. But I saw it for myself. So I thank God that today, at least the kids are all of that, you know, all of the, the atrocities that took place in Liberia. You ready? One, two, go, action. Hey, you!
all the play? Yes. You, you caught everything facing so? Yes. I can now see some of you here, you were babies. Some of you were not born at the time the war took place. So we're just trying for you to see what happened when the war took place. So tomorrow, listen to me. Respect your parents. Don't be cruel. Go home, study a lesson. Take your education, very important. Don't be so stubborn in the home. You are the future leader of our nation. You got more to do. And I hope you enjoy your being in the school. Now clap for the drama team. See what happened today. We have the company here to connect the school finally. Now we are going to have light in the building. We have been running after the process for two months now. Yeah, I think this is very much incredible. We are happy about this, you know. <laughs>